In the first part of this video, you will realize why you can understand English, but you can't speak it. Later, I will give you the tool that took me from being unable to speak English to becoming fluent and eventually running a YouTube channel in English. And you would need only these three items to become fluent fast. But pay close attention because I will explain how to use them properly in the second part of this video. Let's start from the beginning. Why aren't you really capable of speaking the language even though we understand it? Well, generally speaking, from input to creation of the language, there is a period when learners do not produce any original statements. This is called a silent period. Thus, learners seem to need silent period to internalize the gathered information properly. It is easy to understand the concept of the silent period if you look at the learning process of the babies. Babies in any culture can understand far more than they can express. In the same manner, the adult learners of English language will go through the silent silent period where they are unwilling or unable to communicate orally even though they understand much of what is going on around them. The length of the silent period varies from learner to learner and most of the time it depends on the type of personality you are, meaning that an extrovert would most likely start speaking earlier than introvert. Likewise, there is also a unique social phenomenon that prevents learners from speaking language that they understand so well and that is fear of failure or embarrassment. The problem occurs when the silent period is longer because the learners are likely to develop a negative attitude towards learning the new language. But how to make the silent period shorter? That's exactly what I'm going to show you in the next couple of minutes. Luckily, you just need these three items that you probably already have, but here is how you should use them properly. It's no more secret that we acquire the language and develop literacy by understanding what people tell us and what we read by obtaining the comprehensible input. We develop literacy by listening to great stories, by reading books that we like, having a wonderful conversation, and this all happens subconsciously. The reason why the silent period lasts for so long is because most of language learners learn English in schools that have opposite approach. Namely, they spend years focusing on English grammar in the classes, doing hundreds and hundreds of drills after reading short, boring dialogues and stories, such as answering the questions, filling the gaps, etc. and eventually learners end up being unable to present themselves properly. My case used to be the same. The truth is that focusing on skills such as grammar, vocabulary or pronunciation won't make you fluent in English or any other language. Hence, your PC would be your best friend towards overcoming the silent period because it can be an inexhaustible source of both comprehensible and compelling input. My language journey turned upside down when I realized that. The productive skills, speaking and writing, evolve from the receptive content, listening and reading, and consequently they should be given much more emphasis. That's why you should use your PC in order to find this content and immerse yourself in English. Accordingly, you should use it to discover interesting YouTube videos, movies, series, or on the other hand, to read interesting articles, comics, or find and enjoy compelling books. If you really want to become fluent fast and surpass the silent period in English, or any other language, you simply have to surround yourself with the target language. The only catch is that the content that you are reading or listening in English on your PC has to be both compelling and comprehensible for you. And let me explain that. Compelling content means that material that you're using has to be very interesting for you, sometimes so interesting that you forget that it is in a foreign language. Comprehensible means that you have to understand the vast majority of the content, let us say 17%, otherwise you would not 
acquire the language or the process of the acquisition would be distracted if you would check the vocabulary in order to find out what every single word means. Finally, be aware of the fact that if you're still not producing the language, it doesn't mean that you're not learning the language. Why are earphones so important for your language journey towards fluency? If you want to become fluent very fast, you have to spend every spare moment with the language. Often we are not able to watch TV show on our PC or to read a book because we do something else. But that doesn't mean that we cannot adapt to the current situation and this is where earphones can help you immensely. Earphones are an amazing tool to fill in these gaps during the day and will make it easier to achieve your daily goal to spend time with the language. In that regard, for instance, you can use your earphones and listen to the podcast in English while doing house chores, while commuting or doing your daily workout. My multi-annual experience proved that this is an invaluable way to use this dead time that would otherwise be lost and listen to the language which would directly affect your speaking skills. On the other hand, connecting your language learning process in this way with already existing habits would establish a routine in your daily life and thus your success towards achieving fluency is inevitable. Furthermore, earphones will also help you in all those situations when you cannot use speakers because of your environment or the concrete conditions. And this is literally a bunch of situations such as while working in the office, while drinking a coffee in a noisy bar or while waiting for a bus. Can you just imagine how much time you could use in this way every day listening to an audiobook or music in English? I hope you now understand why earphones are so important for your journey towards fluency. Okay, you're probably asking yourself why do you need watch in order to achieve fluency in English. I would say this is a crucial part in the process of your learning. In order to achieve any of your goals in the language, you have to keep yourself liable to the goal. That's why you have to track your time spent with the language and keep yourself responsible towards achieving your ultimate goal, which is in this case attaining fluency. Time spent with the comprehensible and compelling input is proportional with the progress you will achieve with your English language. In order to have better picture what you are about to do in your determined time beside the goals, you have to make a sustainable plan and set some activities in order to make your journey towards fluency realistic. And in order to record your time, you can use some practical tools such as track records. That's what I talked in more details in this video above. Tracking your efforts in the language will make you every hour closer to your goal to start speaking English. More time you spend with the language, more progress you will achieve and faster you will start speaking English. As simple as that. Thus, set your daily goals today and go for it. I hope that you like this video in which we covered reasons why we understand the language and cannot speak it and three essential tools that will lead you towards fluency in English. Therefore, guys, every like and comment of the video really help this channel grow. So if you enjoyed it, please consider doing so or providing the support by subscribing to the channel and see you in some of the next videos. Bye.